My wife has been constantly lying and stealing from me. This is my breaking point. I 26 am have been married to my wife Emma for 4 years. She was a social work major who I met in one of my gen ed classes. I explained to her I was a mechanical engineering major. She then asked if I could tutor her in math and that's how we began dating. Afterwards I decided to get my masters in Japanese to help me gain more career opportunities. My wife thought it was a silly idea and said she wouldn't be funding it so then we decided to keep our finances separate. It wasn't a big deal since I was still working anyways. I just had less free time. So she was making more than me during this time. It paid off and I recently landed a high paying job and with that came more stress due to me having to travel to Japan often. I've really been wanting to get into gaming so I invested in computer parts costing around 1500 Once I took the parts out of the box my wife noticed the receipt and asked how I could be so irresponsible with my money. She assumed I still made the same amount but when I told her that I make triple that amount she began giving me the silent treatment. During this time I began to notice my things were going missing. I wanted to go fishing with some friends one time and when I was looking for my rods them she must have noticed and said she had given them to her uncle. I told her not to take my stuff without asking but didn't mind too much because they were old. So I just bought some more. Another time I was about go to the gym and I was looking for my pre-workout. I always keep three jars. I luckily had a can of monster and that helped. I asked my wife when she got home from work and she said she gave them to her cousin. I asked her to reimburse me because they cost $50 a jar. She said I make enough to replace them and just ignored me for the rest of the day. One day when she thought I was asleep she was talking to someone on the phone explaining how she's going to move my parents into our house. She hadn't explained this me. We only have three rooms. One is her office, one is my office slash game room, and the other is our bedroom. She told the person on the phone who I assume is her sister that she's going to give my gaming setup to her brother to make room and that I'll get over it eventually. So today I left work early to catch her in the middle of her plans. And when I walked in our apartment, her and her brother were then placing everything into a box. I asked what was going on and my wife, whose face was pale said she was cleaning when her brother came by. I asked him did he plan on taking my computer. Of course he denied. So I went in the room to get the iPad we share. And I looked through the texts on there and it clearly shows my wife telling him when to pick it up and to deny that he had it. I told him to get out and asked her why does she think she's so entitled to my stuff. I have never yelled at her and I guess this scared her because she began to cry. She ended up packing a bag and went to stay with her sister. While she was out I picked up a lock for my office. Her sister texted me calling my asshole. I'm beginning to think I could have handled this better. I'm looking for advice. Update. Two months later. After about a week staying at her sister's house, Emma called me and asked if we could meet up. I agreed and we met at a park. She apologized for everything and said she thought she was doing what was best for everybody. I asked what if I just gave her expensive makeup to my sister. She admitted that she would be upset. I then asked why did she think it would be any different for me. She didn't have a reason and her sister told her how unfair she was being to me. We decided to give it another chance and she moved back in. It was going good until she started moving her things into my office. I asked her what she was doing and she explained how she needed the room for her parents. I told her no and that's not happening. I grabbed her things and placed them back into her office. I told her that they could move in but my space has to remain untouched. On top of it we need to determine how bills are going to be paid because. She called me a selfish jerk and then ran back to her sisters. I guess her sister told her she was being inconsiderate once again. And apparently they got into an argument because the sister refuses to take their parents in, and said she's tired of hearing about her problems. I agree with her, her sister has four kids. Her sister called and told me everything, and said that Emma went to her parents' house. I tried to call her but she ignored my phone calls for two weeks. I decided I couldn't live like this so I filed for divorce and handed to her at her parents' house. She called and begged me to forgive her. I told her I'm not sure if I can. She refused to sign it until we go to counseling. I refused and said she had two weeks to suggest that. So now I live alone. She still refuses to sign the papers but that doesn't stop the divorce it just makes it harder. I hung up on my girlfriend because her mom was listening to our conversations. I'm upset. I, 18M, have been dating my girlfriend, 17F, for about 7 months. Tonight her and I had a deep conversation about some relationship hiccups, and I shared personal family struggles I typically only discuss with my therapist. As we finally got to a place we felt comfortable leaving things, I heard whispering in the background. When I asked my girlfriend about it, she adamantly denied anyone else being there. However, as I continued asking, she started crying. Just then, her mom pretended to come in the room and scold her for being up to try to cover up the fact she'd been sitting there for an hour. Turns out, her mom has been sneakily listening in on almost every serious conversation or argument we've ever had. I felt absolutely betrayed and hung up immediately. Since then, both my girlfriend and her mom have been apologizing and trying to shift blame onto me. This violation of privacy has left me feeling super violated and unsure about how to handle the situation. I do feel bad for hanging up so abruptly but I just didn't know how to process what was going on. Am I the a hole for hanging up on my girlfriend after after discovering her mom was spying during our personal conversations? Any guidance on navigating this situation would be greatly appreciated. Edit I woke up an hour ago and watched all the comments come in while eating a whole us margarita pizza. Thank you all for your advice and opinions. To provide more context. 
Throughout our relationship, my girlfriend has often joked about how her mom can get any information from her. However, I've witnessed firsthand how true this is lately. I've also noticed that my girlfriend doesn't respect privacy, claiming she needs a confidant because my situations are too much for her mentally, but then her mom knows everything I share in confidence. I also have tried not talking to her but she pushes every time. Because of this, I've become extremely cautious about sharing personal details. They're both very religious, and while I share the same beliefs, it's been a contentious issue in our relationship. Her mom has used religion to justify intruding on my personal life, citing the need to guide me if I'm sinning. My own family life has been challenging, I had to move out at 18 to escape. I talked to my own mother about all of this and her response was to say that it was not the worst thing and I was overreacting which is why I felt like posting. Her mom has expressed that she sees me as part of her family, which has led to her trying to control various aspects of my life, like dictating when I can drink coffee or imposing a bedtime. She's also shared my private struggles with her pastor and best friend, who've tried to intervene and fix me. I deeply care for my partner, but I can't envision a future where her mother's involvement is so intense in our lives. I plan to talk to her about this tonight and will update you all afterward. Edit. How did mom listen in? She sat in the room and my girlfriend had the phone on speaker. I thought nothing of it because she has always just put me on speaker in her room. Now I see why. Update. She just called me at work. She started the conversation by saying she thinks we should probably break up because she can't do it anymore. I'll be honest, I snorted. She asked why, and I responded by asking her if it was because she was scared to talk to me face to face or if it was because she just didn't want to deal with the fact she screwed up and hurt me. She said it was because I say everything is her fault. For context, I know I have a lot of problems because of a really hard home life and upbringing, and I acknowledge when I make mistakes. Last night was mostly me having to apologize and explain myself over and over. But this time, I flat out told her this was 1000% her and her mom's fault. I then had to go because I'm at work and people needed help. I then got the text saying things like, I guess this is all my fault and I deserve to sit in my consequences apparently. She wants me to come to her house after work to sort things out. I think I am gonna see if we can meet alone in a public place to ensure privacy. I'll update after that. Final update. We ended up breaking up a bit after. She apologized in the end but trust was gone. My mom insulted my wife's intelligence. I'm banning her from our house until she apologizes. Now I want to be clear. I do not think my mom owes us